Okay, we were continuing with which kind of inhibition? Competitive inhibition or non-competitive beta? Competitive. More effective concept hai. Competitive or non-competitive? Non-competitive. Beta competitive may to still 50% product ban jayega. But non-competitive, even one step may he entire product formation stops. I was just explaining this non-competitive thing to you very quickly. Let's do this. Look, beta. Cyanide is an inhibitor, and this is the name of the enzyme cytochrome oxidase. Cytochrome oxidase. चलिए हम ये मान लेते हैं ये वाला जो हमारा एंजाइम है दिस इज साइटोक्रोम ऑक्सीडेज एंड इनहिबिटर यहाँ पे बाइंड कर गया विच इज इनहिबिटर विच एग्जाम्पल इंस्टेंट डेथ That is the reason cyanide leads to instant death. In one step, they go. Your light, very important. Hai. Just in one step, the product formation is stopped. As soon as, just itna sa karna hai ki inhibitor ko aake enzyme se kahi attach karna hai apne aapko. Obviously, active site pe nahi kar paega because of the lock-in key mechanism. But as soon as it will bind there, one step ye hoga bas jahan shape change hogi, substrate addition stop ho jayega, enzymatic activity khatam, product formation band. whatever the function the enzyme was doing it will not be able to perform like i gave you an example of the enzyme cytochrome oxidase basically it is involved directly in cellular respiration so which is the inhibitor which binded to this enzyme cyanide cyanide and the first effect will be that cellular respiration will stop and this is just in one step i told you it will stop and as soon as the respiration is going to stop cyanide is going to lead to which kind of a death instant death similarly there is one more example of penicillin there also we have an inhibitor which forms cell wall in bacteria but it's a thoda sa complex you do not go into that you just understand this cyanide wala it is easy and it is interesting also for you now let's come to the main difference between competitive and non competitive beta non competitive is an irreversible mechanism What is it? It's irreversible. ऐसा नहीं है कि inhibitor यहाँ पे bind कर जाएगा और फिर बाद में अलग हट भी जाएगा. This does not happen, beta. This is which kind of a mechanism, beta? Tell me. Hmm? Irreversible. 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 By any method, you cannot remove this inhibitor from the enzyme. Nothing. No temperature conditions. No artificial process. कुछ नहीं कर सकते आप. That is why cyanide deaths are for sure. so you cannot remove this inhibitor that is why we say that non competitive inhibition is an irreversible mechanism even if the substrate increases the product will not be formed aap kitna bhi substrate increase karte jao product nahi banega kyun nahi banega beta because active sites have got deformed active site hi change ho gayi hai to aap kitna bhi substrate increase karo wo yahan add hi nahi kar payega so it is no point increasing the substrate in which kind of inhibition competitive or non competitive non competitive non competitive inhibition but udhar wale mein first wale mein when we talk about competitive it's a reversible process how it is reversible because 50% sites fir se free ho jati hain and again this can bind substrate can again bind in which process dekho ye to permanently band ho gaya ye to kaam nahi karega this is a permanent complex बट ये साइट रिवर्सिबल है ये कॉम्प्लेक्स फिर से टूट जाएगा ये साइट फ्री हो जाएगी और सबस्टेट एड ऑन होते जाएंगे सो लेट्स डू दिस वेरी क्विकली बेटा दिस इज वॉट वी हैव डन द कंक्लूजन द मेन कंक्लूजन अबाउट कॉम्पिटेटिव एंड नॉन कॉम्पिटेटिव इनहेबिशन इज दिस दैट नॉन कॉम्पिटेटिव इज एन इ रिवर्सिबल मैकेनिज्म इवन इज सबस्टेट कीप्स ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द प्रोडक्ट विल नॉट बी फॉर्म एंड कॉम्पिटेटिव वन इज अ रिवर्सिबल वन बिकॉज उसमें हाउ मेनी साइट्स आर फ्री 50% sites are free so this is all that we have done today let's revise very quickly i don't take up many topics in a day i completed the factors which affect enzymatic activity today 
Number one, one factor was already done, and then I did inhibition of enzyme action. Actually, there are three ways of enzyme action inhibition. The third way, I am not going to tell you. It's very complicated. In your book, in your syllabus, there is only one inhibition, and that is competitive inhibition. Okay, children. If you will open your books, whether it is NCERT or S Chan, you will only find one word: competitive inhibition is written over there. Bus. That's all. There is no mention of non-competitive inhibition. There is no detail of competitive inhibition. I just try to explain it to you. That competitive inhibition is how it happens. Again, the same thing, beta. Examination point of view. You should know the word. That is all that we need to do. Beta, you know your duties are coming now. Yes, ma'am. children this time i am planning to have an entirely objective paper on google form clear everyone so study properly study properly the ncert part all the chapters which are there in the syllabus entire paper i'll try and make it on the google form only 40 marks and then let it be objective objective in a sense some of them may be mcqs and some of them may be one word answers you will have to give an answer for example if i ask you the name of the enzyme over here then you have to be careful that what is the name of the enzyme you will have to write the answers so it could be writing answers it could be selecting mcqs but it is going to be an entirely objective kind of a paper am i clear bachche yes so what you need to do is just read your chapters that will be sufficient for you to answer uh let me do very quickly i still have 2 3 minutes with me What are the three factors which affect the enzymatic activity? Temperature, pH, and concentration of substrate. Okay. Is the temperature constant? Optima of temperature is it same for all enzymes or is it different? Same. Very good. Only one child is answering. What happened to others? Hmm. Ah, second meeting. It's always the same story. pH optima is same or is it different? Different. it is different okay. and when we talk about the concentration of substrate when you increase the substrate first the rate of reaction increases or the product rate increases and then the product becomes constant then i did inhibition today the last topic which i did there are two types of inhibition what are the two types of inhibition competitive, competitive inhibition and non competitive inhibition in competitive inhibition there are two sites on one side substrate binds and what binds on the other side inhibitor inhibitor so there are two complexes which are formed the enzyme substrate complex and the enzyme inhibitor complex which is a permanent complex enzyme, enzyme inhibitor, inhibitor complex, complex.